Shalom, Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. about our history that's what we focused on right now our history because we're trying to bring our people to the understanding of who we are today hey brothers back there give me that Deuteronomy 28 verse 15 hey brothers come talk to me man y'all all right read what you got Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 15 but it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So God said, if we don't keep the commandments of the Lord, that our people will go through curses. And today in 2022, we go through curses. We go through curses every day, but yet our people normalize these things. Our people normalize it and they ignore the fact that we go that we at the bottom of state. That we under all people on the planet. Why? Because we live in America. We live in America where uh the poorest man ain't as poor somewhere else. But guess what? Other people got a a, 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 a land to go to. Read uh verse 16. Read that. Cursed shalt thou be in the city, and cursed shall thou be in the field. So in America, in the black neighborhoods, the black man is cursed in the city. He cursed in the field. On his job situation, he's cursed among every other nation. These are curses according to the Bible that he said that you blacks and Hispanics would go through in the last days. Read verse uh, 32. Verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. He said our sons and daughters would be given unto another people. That's how we got to this side of America. Uh, to this side of the world, I mean. Because our sons and daughters was given unto another people, and they shipped us over here like cargo. Right. And to this day, we are still in their hands. To this day, we still go to them for uh, food. Matter of fact, let's get there. Verse 48. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger, and in thirst, and in nakedness, and in want of all things. The Bible said that you must go to another nationality of people or your enemies for the want of all things. There's nothing on this planet that you can get from your own people. You have to go to another nationality of people. That is a curse according to the Bible. And the thing about it is our people have to start to care about that thing. They got to care about their situation in America. Because guess what? It's the, it, it, uh, it makes you think the way that you think and it makes you act the way that you act. You know what I'm saying? That's why they don't like to be around us. Because we act like slaves. Right. We act like we ain't got nothing to do. We act like we ain't got no hope. But when we are here today trying to teach, trying to teach your history, trying to give you an understanding, our people continue to, to move in such ways. Right. Read it again. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee, in hunger, and in thirst, and in nakedness, 
and in want of all things. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he hath destroyed thee. And he and God said that these other nations was going to put a yoke of iron upon our neck until he have destroyed us. We are destroyed today. And our people don't see it. Give me Luke. Give me Luke chapter 1 and verse 6. Because guess what? We got to start living more righteous out here. We have to live more righteous in the things that we do. Because right now the things that we do is all according to our own mind and our own heart. But guess what? God said it's a different way to live. And a black man in America have no idea how we're supposed to live. We're supposed to live by guidelines, not lawlessly doing whatever we want to do. That's why our community is so bad, because nobody has a guideline or a standard of living. Everybody do what they want to do. And in the black community, we can't talk to nobody. We can't judge nobody. We can't tell nobody the right way to go. We just want to let everybody live the destructive life that they live in. Give me what you got. Luke chapter 1 verse 6. And they were both righteous before God. They were both righteous before God. How do you become righteous before God? Read. Walking in all the commandments. Walking in the commandments of the Lord. That's the only thing that's going to make you righteous. Why? Because there's nothing wrong with the laws that God gave our people to uh, walk in. How you doing, brother? Come talk to me right quick, man. We out here talking about God. You too busy to talk about God, man? You're not too busy? Well, come over here right quick, man. Give me uh, 1 and 68. We're going to tell you about God from over there since you don't want to come over here then. Because guess what? Our people have a false understanding of God. Our people, our people think that God is the God of every nation of people on the planet. But we're going to see what the Bible says. Read that. Luke chapter 1 verse 68. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. The Bible said, blessed be the Lord God of Israel. So who are the Israelites today in 2022? Read it again. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Read. For he had visited and redeemed his people. So the Bible said, blessed be the God of Israel, because he's going to redeem his people. That's right. All of those are possessive words. So if you in the church and you don't know who Israel is, his people. So God's people are the Israelites. If you don't know who the Israelites are in 2022, you are in the church for no reason. Read on. And have raised up in the horn of salvation for us. In the house of his servant David. That's Jesus the Christ. Jesus the Christ came to do the will of the Father. That's right. And the Father said that he's the God of Israel. That's right. So if he's the God of Israel and Jesus came to do his will, who do you think Jesus came back to say? Bring it up. Read on. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began. He said the holy prophets of God have been since the beginning of time. And guess what? They have not changed their message from then until now. The message of God has not changed. The people mindset has changed. That is it. How you doing, brother? You got a second to talk about God with me right quick? Alright, alright, go ahead, man. Give me uh Amos chapter three. Give me Amos chapter Matter of fact. Yeah, give me Amos um three and eleven. That's what I want. Read that. Amos chapter three, verse eleven. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God, an adversary, there shall be even round about the land. Oh, uh, what's that? 2 and 11. Give me that. And I have raised up your sons for prophets. The Bible said, God raised up our sons for prophets. Read. And of your young men for Nazarites. Uh-huh. Is it not even thus, O ye children of Israel? God said that he raised up the children of Israel for prophets. There, was, there is no prophet outside of the children of Israel. Right. Give me Joel 2 and 27. There is no prophet outside of the children of Israel. So when you got all nationality of people teaching the Bible, that is not according to the Bible. Because God said all prophets come out of the children of Israel. So if all prophets come out of the children of Israel, salvation comes to one nationality of people. And it's only for one nationality of people. Why? 
because it's only one nationality of people who need saving. Do you have, other than a plot of land that you say that you own, but yet you pay taxes on every year? You don't own anything. But guess what? God is coming back to redeem you. Read. Joel chapter 2 verse 27. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. God said that he is in the midst of the Israelites. Read. And that I am the Lord your God. God is your God, Israelite. Israelite man and Israelite woman. We are to teach you who you are. Read. And that I am the Lord your God and none else. God is only the God of the Israelites. That's right. That's it. So when another nation of people teach you God, you are going wrong. You are going backwards. How can another nation of people teach you about yourself and your history? Right. Read. And my people shall never be ashamed. Our people should never be ashamed to say that God is your God and no other God. We on the bottom of society getting beat every day, but yet we are ashamed to say, God don't love all people. That's right. We are slaves. Read. And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. So God now is pouring out his spirit upon his flesh, upon the flesh of the Israelites. Read. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. And we are here prophesying on the corner today in 2022. That's Read. Right. Your old men shall dream dreams. He said the old men gonna dream dreams. We got older men out here. Read. Your young men shall see visions. And the young men out here prophesying visions unto the people. Read. And also upon the servants and upon the handmaids in those days will I pour out my spirit. So you seeing the spirit of God working out here in St. Louis, Missouri. That's right. Don't nothing good come out of St. Louis, Missouri, but guess what? You got the prophets out here teaching. Right. Your Christian pastor ain't gonna stand on no corner and teach you the word of God. Teach. He gonna make sure that you come into his building so you can give him some of your, uh, 10% of your paycheck. Right. But guess what? We ain't out here for no money. Right. We are here to teach our people what they need to know to get to the kingdom of heaven. That's give me right. Matthew chapter 19. We teaching you the kingdom of heaven. Because guess what? Before you change, the kingdom ain't going to never come. Because the kingdom of heaven is based upon your actions and your actions only. The black man must raise up for God to come back. It ain't going to take no white man loving you for God to come back. It's going to take the black man to change his ways for God to change his mind. Matter of fact, give me uh, Hosea chapter 5 and verse 15. We all teach you that God is only waiting on you, black man, to wake up. He is not waiting on the white man to, to feel sorry about putting you in the chains. He waiting on you to take back what's rightfully yours. Read what you got. Hosea chapter 5 verse 15. I will go and return to my place. God said he going to return and forget about you blacks and Hispanics until when? Until they acknowledge their offense. Until you wake up and realize that America has nothing good for you. Read. And seek my face. In their affliction, they will seek me early. God says while you are getting punished, that's when you're going to start thinking about God. That's why, it, that's why men be banging in the hood. As soon as one of their boys gets shot, they say, damn, I hope God looking over them right now. I hope he going to a better place. But when you was robbing, you weren't thinking about God. God said what? In their affliction, they will seek me early. When he start putting y'all to death, that's when y'all going to start thinking about God. God got to put you to death for you to realize that God exists. That's crazy. But guess what? It's going to continue to happen until the black man wake up. That's until the right. black man stop uh, celebrating every damn holiday that the white man killed you on. Our people finna set up Thanksgiving next uh, in a couple weeks. Halloween finna roll around. Worshiping devils. And guess what? Black people who go to church going to say Halloween is good for the kids. Bring it up. They gonna get. They gonna let their kids take any and everything that a stranger put into their basket, and they wonder why black people killing each other. Jeez. This is crazy as hell, man. Read on. Read again. I will go and return to my place, 
so they acknowledge their offense. God don't care about the black man and black woman until they acknowledge that God exists and God is for them. Our people love to say God love everybody, love to sit next to the white man, to the Arab man, the same people who put you on them ships. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Oh!